Yo, this is Eric. What's going on? I wanted to say something today. And here I am hanging out at the Thompson Park. Plus is my last name. I'm going to talk about two companies that I've worked at. I'm talking about it today because there's something. I got a paycheck from my other last job. When I was working at Amazon and they fired me. I got another paycheck even though I wasn't working there no more. It's because recently, of course I found, because uh, it was it came in the mail that I got a paycheck from Amazon because they got sued. You know, I think somebody won the case and suing Amazon. And uh, so I guess people, the employees that have worked there at Amazon, at the grocery store, have gotten their paycheck when they got sued. So it's like, I didn't see this coming, but I'm going to deposit today. So this is my paycheck and they got sued. You know, I got fired from them over a clocking issue. So I'm like, I'm glad I don't work there no more. And because of this paycheck, that's why I'm saying it. Um, what's inside here? I got $531. Right here. It says it right here. I'm going to deposit that today. And I thought I was going to go broke because I'm going to be heading Texas soon. I'm going to be heading out to Texas soon. I thought I was going to be broke because... I had to figure out what am I gonna do to stretch that money while I'm on vacation. I thought I like had to had to go to the store, get some can of beans, get uh, get like a cup of noodles and some rice, so that I could go to Texas and I just head to my hotel and I just warm up my food so I can eat it. <laughs> but since um, but since I have a paycheck from them, I'll probably be good to go and I might have a real good time on vacation instead of having to be broke. But I still need to be smarter with my money. And that's probably the real reason I'm making a video, but that's besides the point. I've worked at other companies that I that it got sued to at UPS. <coughs> at UPS. I worked at UPS for only three weeks. And they got sued. I believe last year or something. Who knows if they got sued again. They got sued. And I got a check for them. But only four bucks. Because I lasted there like three weeks. So it's not like four dollars means a thing. You could get a snack. But you can't get a meal for four dollars. Another company I worked at. Where's that? The Bumblebee Foods. Uh, the Bumblebee Foods Tuna and I was working at the warehouse I was working at the warehouse all I did was just cleaning the warehouse you know cleaning the floors scrubbing the floors clean up all trash like I'm doing any other swap like I'm doing at the Swami but I'm not um, I'm not I'm not like washing the floors any of that stuff all I'm doing is just sweeping up trash after I blow all the trash to the walls and just make it a pile so I was working at the warehouse only just for a month because um, they didn't tell me that the warehouse was shut down and I could barely I barely get paid because I show up for nothing they got sued Bumblebee's um, Bumblebee's uh, hold up Bumblebee Foods Tuna the warehouse they got sued because one of the employees was working there making tuna and all that shit all that stuff but
that employee was in the oven. Like some kind of flame or something, like in like some kind of cooking thing was inside the oven by himself. When they turned it on, he was burnt. So they got sued. That man died. Where he worked at. And that's where they got sued. And that was fucked up. And that was before I was working there. So I didn't know until I found out. Because my job coach found out about it and told me about it. The job I used to work at over there, that was like in 2020 during the pandemic. All I did was just clean the warehouse. UPS, like I told you, they got sued. Keep in mind, I used to work there for three weeks, but my best friend, he worked there for a month. I didn't get fired from UPS, but I was forced to quit. My best friend was forced to quit. We both quit the job. And this was the same place, like me and him, we were working at the same place, the same area, but we didn't work there together. But we were working at the same place. Now I tell you this, I'm working at a job right now that they got sued too. At the Swap Meet Drive-In Theater in Paramount. They got sued before I was working there. Where this one employee, they told him to work uh, the whole hours without lunch. Without a lunch break. So, you know, like, when it's past five hours, you, call, you clock out a lunch. You, you clock out so you could take a lunch. And then you go, and after that... You clock back in and get back to work. And then when work is done, you clock out. You finish for the day. So that didn't happen. They didn't let him do that. And that's where he report that and sue them, you know, take them to court. And I just learned what it means to sue. Take somebody to court. You know, have all these riots and all that stuff to take them to the court and see if they could solve the case to what's unfair to the company. I mean, to the companies, what they were doing, that's unfair to the employees. I just learned that what it means last night. And that's what I wanted to explain today. I was working at companies that, I'm working at a company right now that I got sued. So basically every company I worked at got sued. But I guess that's how it is when you're do when you're starting a company and starting a business, you might end up sued about something. That's all I wanted to say. I'm gonna deposit this check. I'm gonna do my thing, get my lunch, and head to work. All right. This is Eric. I'm going to be heading to Texas soon. Peace.